this module you will learn about input output device the personal computer pc consists of keyboard mouse monitor and cpu which is earlier known as in a technical term micro data processor so the pc personal computer earlier known as micro data processor a computer is a device that take data that we input input that means entering the data into a computer system here we are enter the data to a keyboard and whatever the data we entered whatever the instruction given by the keyboard and mouse to the input devices that data is processed in the cpu central processing unit that will be process it and it provides a result that result is displayed in a output device is will be displayed in a output device this process is known as ipo cycle input output cycle input process output cycle the first step of the ipo cycle is input the first step of the input process output cycle is input the first step is input input where the data and command are entered to a keyboard the data and command given by the input device which is to the keyboard mouse and the light pen an input device enables one to communicate with the computer the next step is the process it involves a central processing unit the cpu handles the process of instructions calculation and flow of data in the computer system the cpu or the processor as it is a commonly called is the brain of the computer where most calculation was take place and the flow of data is controlled by the controlling unit in the cpu the cpu also communicate with the input device and the output device both the devices was communicated through the cpu and in between the device where the information of the input device of the data given by the input device and the output device information are stored in a storage device there was a mem main memory and a storage device in the main memory it was divided into the so primary memory which is called as primary memory which is inside of the cpu which was divided into two parts ram and rom which is called as random access memory and read only memory and the secondary storage device that is the secondary Uh, memory the secondary memory that is a storage device where the data can be stored on the permanent basis the cpu also communicate with the input output and storage device to carry out various tasks now the data used by the computer to perform various tasks the data which was used for the calculation purpose or any other storing purpose which all are Uh, the different types of data which was stored in the storage devices like hard drive tape drive floppy disk cd drive usb drive etc i repeat the data which was stored in the storage device the data which can store that hard drive tape drive floppy drives at cd drive usb drive here we can save our information that the final step is the ipo cycle in the ipo cycle is output the monitor device the monitor this is the 
one of the output device the processing result is communicated i will explain this what do you mean by output device the process results whatever process uh, the input device is giving the input to the computer with the instruction to the computer that input is now processed and after processing it was the result is generated now how to communicate that result to the user via as a output device such as monitor printer and speaker now it is communicated through the output device to the user output device display information through the screen that means the monitor displays information through the screen and the printer generate prints and speaker produce sounds so today we will learn about three devices that is input device storage device and output 